Hello and welcome to Automation. Today I'm going to be showcasing off one engine and it's going to be this engine here. It's by a Tampa Powers and I'm going to pause the video here so I can load it. So see you in a bit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, sorry. <laughs> This here is the engine. It is a monster of an engine. It's a 10.9 litre engine. As you can tell, it's not very good. I can get more out of this in a bit. It's a. Okay, I'm going to run you through this. It's a three. It's 3,600. Well, 3,700 horsepower V8. It's an absolute monster. Um, 3,674 horsepower, 7,300 revs. Power and torque is enormous. 8,300 revs, uh, not that good, but it's still get. That's before braking. MBTF, that used to be called lifespan, so it's now mean time before failure is zero millimeters, so it's not very good. I can fix that by changing one value, getting about a 1,100 kilometers. Responsiveness 71, so this is a pretty talky, this is a pretty lively engine. Loudness is 47.2, so I'm surprised because, <laughs> yeah, big ass, a big exhaust system. Smoothness is 60.4, so it's a pretty smooth engine for what it is. Ah, big kicker here, it's 432 kilograms. It is a heavy thing. Size nine thousand service uh, nine thousand one hundred servicing costs, but this has got quality set to full on everything. Sorry about that. Skype is annoying me. Um emissions is fourteen. This is an insane engine. Economy eight point one six percent or one point five five pounds per horsepower or something, I don't know what that is. Octane is okay. I mean it's running on Octane one hundred. Now I know what you're asking. And I'm going to show you the rest of it and I'm also running this on my old graphics card because my first one because my one gig one's in a bit of trouble at the moment. V eight flat plane flat plane V eight Magnesium block, now this is new because you can get this at uh, 2010 now instead of 2020. Boron stroke is 120, so it's a very big engine. Built steel, I-beam titanium, forged piston heads. Uh, that's the only thing that can take it. And that's new there. Top end, it's dual overhead cams, ball valves, cylinder, cast iron, 10.1, so this is running pretty high, 24. This thing's running VVL, so it's set to 87. Turbocharger, twin turbo, ball bearing, auto, or huge. And if you don't mind, I'm going to pause again. Okay, sorry about that. It's a huge water cooler, although it still looks microscopic, and it still works on the principle of Wi-Fi cooling systems. I'm not doing a bad frame rate. 100.8, 90, 1.4. So this the <coughs> aperture here is um, 1.4, or however you say it. I'm not sure how you do it. Boost is three bar, so this is maxed out. Let me just show you the boost curve. So it's a very high boost curve. It really peaks here. Fuel system, fuel injection, direct injection. Oops, <laughs> too close to be awesome engine. As you can see, direct injection. It's got a race and take up here. Ultimate 100, although it's running 99, 99.9. .9. It's running a few mixture of 10, so this is really rich. Um, this number here, I'm going to alter this later because if you drop it down to 72, you get a thousand kilometers out of it, but the octane goes up as a result. 
Um, 8,300, that's one before break point. Also, what the guy, so what um, <laughs> Tampa Powers said. Uh, dual exhaust, as you can see. A uh, huge 6 inch diameter. This exhaust is 15 centimeters across at the back end. Let me just show you. Yeah, that's 15 centimeters. Well, six inches. It's got a high flow cat on it, a straight for exhaust, and another straight for exhaust. Now I know what you're asking yourselves. I've been rambling for five minutes. Let's test this. Okay, now that was the engine test. I dropped down to 10 frames a second. I hope, I hope I can do this with my graphics card currently. Let's do the engine test. I'm going to rev it up as I usually do, thousand revs at a time, trying to tell you. But look at the blue power needle when you get up to about here. It just goes berserk. Okay, 15 frames a second. Thousand revs, bit over a hundred horsepower. Two thousand revs, bit over three hundred. Three thousand revs, a little bit under five hundred. Four thousand revs. About 700 horsepower, but nearly a thousand newton, thousand foot-pounds of torque. We're coming on to boost over 1,200 horsepower, at 5,000 revs. Well, but, but under. Okay, it's under. Sorry, I should adjust that down a bit. It's under 1,200 horsepower. At 5,000 revs. It's nearly doubled its power in a thousand revs. Let me just show you that. Just look at these needles from here to here. But no, actually, look at these needles here when I go from about here to here. That's over 2,400 horsepower, that seems to be unknown now. Okay, oil pressure spiking. I don't know what power we're at now, I am in the bl I'm blind. Look at the torque needle, it's off the scale. This thing is a monster. That's about 3,700 horsepower there on that scale there. I want that thing to be 4,800 there, so it's triple double what it is now so you can see it. Whoa. Let me just take you through that again and I'm not going to talk. was a lot there. Now my summary of this engine is that it's just not practical. Um, the MBTF, I can get about a thousand and something kilometers out of this. If I drop this down by one, I'm going to skip past that. No oh, wait, what was it? Up by one. Yeah, if you increase that by one, the power drops from, oh, let me just put that back to where it was. 3,674 horsepower to 
3,561, so you lose 113 horsepower, but the thing is, you've got 1,000 kilometers of range on this engine now, and you've increased the responsiveness, but the fuel economy is going up, and I mean, it's not that good. <laughs> I mean, it's a good, a good try. I'm just no, I don't want to mess this one up here because this would just balls it up for everybody. Okay, if you just that, uh, it really messes with it. You can just about see the drop there. It's enormous. Let's pause again. Thank you, Mr. Skype. <laughs> <laughs> but in all essence, this engine's bananas. <laughs> Yeah, fuel economy needs to be a bit work worked on. But overall, in terms of the Sano scale, insane scale things, this engine pretty much pushes the limit. <laughs> I've even tried to make this engine and I can't even get close. And I'm coming up to 11 and a half minutes, so I should be getting off here. Please subscribe and please pre-order this game. It is amazing. With this build 1003, you're going to love it. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time. This is Robert Gracie signing off now. Thanks for watching.